What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with some trance music, and we're going to listen to a tune from 1999. Uh, this was in my collection very early on. Um, you know, I got my turntables in the summer of 98. Uh, I was already into acid techno and acid trance by that point, but admittedly the first couple years going to record shops in Southern California and not really knowing, like, all the labels I should be looking for, I was aware of some of them. You know, Stay Up Forever, also like um, Eve Records. Uh, when it comes to acid trance, but I just didn't find a lot of those records right away. Um, and it took me a little while, not only just going to different record shops and beginning to learn some artist names and label names and then kind of knowing what to look for, uh, but eventually once I found uh, Ditzcogs uh, in 2004, um, that was a game changer because then you could just sort of not only look for stuff that you were aware of by name or at least by the artist, but you could learn, you know, you'd click on that artist page and, oh, we collaborated with this person. Oh, this person has a number of records. And, oh, it's on this label. Oh, this label has a number of other artists on it. Oh, wait, I've heard of this guy. And you'd just go on these, like, deep dives where you just learn more and more about trance and techno and hardcore. So, um, yeah, Discogs, it's an amazing website. It started specifically in relation to dance music. And then over time, it's come to incorporate um, music um, information of all different genres and styles. And it's, you know, it's like a... It's an encyclopedia mixed uh, with a marketplace, which, you know, it's, it's just basically perfect, is what I'm saying, uh, for those of us who are really interested about music and sometimes have a hard time keeping track of everything, which is to say I use my Discogs um, collection database to just sort of, you know, remember what I have and remember what it looks like so that when I go out into my stacks, I kind of, you know, have a sense of what I'm looking for and so on. Nevertheless, uh, the point is, the first couple years, I got more like progressive trance and like hard trance than I ended up getting acid techno and acid trance. Uh, and one of the records I got within the first year or so um, of getting turntables is a track by Love Child, which is a duo. Um, let me make sure I got this right. I think it's Mikiel uh, van der Kuy, or like Q, it's K-U-Y, I'm not sure, but it sounds like a Dutch name, uh, and mixed with Phil Radford. But we're going to listen to the Prototype remix, and Prototype is one of the two guys, um, Mikhail van der Kuj. Oh, and it's spelled differently here. It's spelled K-U-I-J, uh, whereas it's spelled K-U-Y in other cases. In any case, Prototype is him mixed with another person named uh, Michael Piron. Um, so basically, it's a different duo, but with one of the same guys who produced the original track. So uh, this is on a label um, called Tremolo. It's from uh, the Netherlands. So this is Love Child Gloria, the prototype remix uh, from 1999 on Tremolo Records. <laughs>
epic late 90s trans melody. There's like a desperation to it. Sort of, it's leaving it all out in its spike. His fate seems uncertain.
will say though, again, if you're a DJ, you're out by this point if you're not finishing a set with this, which I think you could do. It's a long outro though, like, long outros are DJ friendly, but they do sort of like, you know, if there's like 128 of just a bass line and a kick and a hat, it's like, it kind of, you know, you want to finish a set with a sort of epic vibe, so to like have that long of an outro, it does sort of make it harder to end a set. I think you could probably do it, but maybe you do like a kill switch move, like after the last main part with that pad melody, maybe you just like kill it and like have a sample record or something. Um, but again, it's a top tune, um, one that I've had for now, like, you know, 24 years just about. Um, I think I got it early. 2000 uh, or early uh, 1999. I gotta check what month it came out. I may not be right about that. Um, sometimes Discog says, but here it doesn't show it. It just shows it as being 1999 with no um, further specification. Uh, but again, I have had this a very long time. I have used it many times, which is impressive in the sense that, you know, I didn't hear many notable pops or any like um, bad surface noise there. So some of my older records, some of the ones in the first, you know, let's say 100 that I bought. Um, some of them are in a bit rougher shape, they're a bit riper, if you will. Um, but this one, yeah, obviously, um, it's managed to stay in better condition. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Love Trial, but specifically shout out to one of the same producers with a different collaborator, uh, for the Prototype remix, because I really do think it's fantastic. Um, the other mix, I think it's cool, I think it's good, uh, but this is the one for me. So, anyway, let me know what you think of the tune, I will see you next time. Peace!